Drugs. What's wrong with them? I want them. But hold on. Let, let's go back to the 80s and 90s when everyone fucking ever was telling me not to do them. Because then maybe I'll change my mind. After all, we know how impartial these advertisements were. Marijuana, pot, grass, whatever you want to call it, is probably the most dangerous drug in the United States, and we haven't begun to find out all of the ill effects. These are just so funny, and I was just looking at some of them, and some of them are so ridiculous that I just gotta give it a whirl. Let's go, let's see, what's, no what's number one on the list here? Oh, God. I get angry just thinking about it, it makes me mad. Little kids doing drugs, it turns my stomach. Mr. T, are you bleeding? You all right? <laughs> I did that once, I was bleeding now. It hurts the user. It hurts his family. Okay, I'm good. And it hurts his back friends. Up. We're good, man. I just want to shake some sense into you. Go. Shake some sense into you kids. I'm not a kid, I'm 26. So remember, don't, or else. Okay? Okay, yeah. You make, you make a good So point. steroids are like okay, smile. but drugs, no, no, no. no. Smile. If you're going to hurt me, hurt me. Don't have me thinking about this 10 years later in the therapist's <laughs> office. <laughs> I probably need a therapist, but who cares? This is the classic. This is your brain. No, it's not. And this is heroin. No, it's not. It's an egg in a pan. This is what happens to your brain. <laughs> no, that's what happens when you smash a, a egg with a pan. Your family goes through it. Oh, not the dishes. <laughs> the, oh, the clock. How are we going to know what time it is? You didn't have to do any of that. You chose to do that. Hot crazy scale. She's not hot enough for the amount of crazy she is. Drugs can get in big trouble. Mm. You could go to principal's office or go to jail. That's a pretty big jump between those two. You can't watch TV or eat pizza. I'm out. No pizza. Can't watch TV. Can't eat pizza. Go to jail. Can't eat pizza. Won't do them. Recess is good. Hamsters are good. Hamsters are good. Hamsters are good. How does this... Penny, you're getting off track. Drugs are bad. I don't do drugs. What the fuck? It's Joe Biden all over again. Who's more dead? Who's more dead inside? That's the game I play. Hey, that's me. This guy needs a hug. This kid died from using illegal drugs. Are you allowed to be in here? And this kid <laughs> died from using prescription drugs. Who's more dead? <laughs> who's more dead? Which one's more dead? <laughs> this is the deadest <laughs> I've ever seen. You just fucking walk into a graveyard. This guy died from a bullet. This guy, he fell down the stairs. Which one of them is deader? This motherfucker died from not drinking enough vodka. I told him, Dimitri, drink a vodka, not that water crap. You better answer this. That better, that's not a rhetorical question. That's not a rhetorical question. You have to answer that question when you go into that kind of territory. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Let me introduce my man. You know them all. There's crawling on the ground, Whoa. man. Looking through binoculars, man. Oh, Sergeant, we're smoking a cigarette, man. He's gone. Last night, Billy burned him with a match. A message from Rat. Reject all tobacco. Take it from Terrence. You better tell somebody. I wasn't sold till the Rat. I wasn't sold till then. But when that came on, boy, gosh darn it, I want to throw out all my marijuana leaves in the big old trash can. Hey, what about me? Give her some. Yeah, give Did you notice? Look how racist this shit is. The black guy is providing the drugs. What the fuck? The black guy is providing drugs to- What the fuck? What the fuck? You're saying white guys can't be drug dealers? I take offense to that. Give me some. Alright, alright. You want meth, kid? Here's your meth. And here's your meth dealer. And your meth boyfriends. And here's your meth mom. And your meth dad. And your meth CPA. And your meth boyfriends. <laughs> Meth boyfriend, please, take a step back. Okay, understand the personal bubble. And your meth baby. <laughs> baby? I'll never get over meth baby. As That's not how I meth live, I'll works. See meth baby. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 kid, this gotta come to an end soon. Don't forget your meth face. I like how the meth face is more important than the meth baby. 
Just want to point that out. Priority's a little messed up here, but then again, they are on meth. Fuck. It's called Smoking Dog. It can't be bad. <laughs> Cheeky! This dog is cool as ice. Bennett! Bennett dinner! I'm smoking! That's how the dog talks. He talks like a person. Just like he smokes like a person. What is going on in this? <laughs> she just gave up. She's just like defeated. He's gonna be out there smoking. He wants to kill himself. Fine. You be out there, but you stay out there, dog. What the fuck? Hey, I'm a dog. What's your excuse? Not all dogs. Excuse me. Hashtag not all dogs. Thank One sec. Cheeky, are you smoking again? Hello, my name is Chiki, and you shouldn't smoke because you will uh, not be healthy and to be healthy you have to make sure you don't smoke. Please listen to this message provided by Chiki and uh, Kuma. So if you want to stay cute like me, please don't smoke. Thanks Chiki. Did you just spit on my carpet, bitch? Hey, I bet you think matter tsuku, you have no three bitch get matter in the bed. Idi vrati se tamo. Šta mi sereš na moj jebeni karpet? E, jebat ću ti mater. Šta ti je tri pičke materine? Imaš jedan posao da uživaš jebeni život i šta uradiš? Sereš mi na jebeni parket, zašto? Fuck's sake. <sighs> Where were we? Not all dogs. She's a bitch. Thanks. Some dogs these days. Think they can put us all into a box. I'm Michael Jordan. Hi, Michael Jordan. McDonald's restaurants have given me this time to talk. Why did it have to be McDonald's who gave you this opportunity? It was just a camera and a background and you're in a suit. McDonald's restaurants have given me this time to talk to you about something we both really care about. Buy a Big Mac. Kids. Kids and McDonald's, boys, girls, the education, children, McDonald's, Chicken McNugget. You can just about be anything you want to be. Listen. I Did you say that? Did you say that? Let's watch it again and I'll break it down for you. Did you say that shit? Let's watch it again. It was just a camera and a background. Let's watch it again. Suit. McDonald's restaurants have given me this time to talk to you about something we both really care about. Kids. Kids and McDonald's. Boys, Watch. Girls. The education. Watch. Children. McDonald's. Chicken McNugget. You can just about be anything you want to be. Listen. Did you notice that? You could be anything you want to be. His words are saying yes. His face is saying no. Watch that again. He knows that he's lying. He knows that he's lying. Watch that it's shit. Just a camera and a background, and you're in a suit. You think you could fool me? restaurants have given me this Watch. time to talk to you about something we both really care about: kids. Kids. Cares about McDonald's, kids. Boys, cares about girls, kids. Okay. Cares about kids. Children, Good. McDonald's. Chicken McNugget. You can just about be anything you want to be. Listen. No. I love. I love the cut. I love how I couldn't. This is just. I love this. Is basically rambling. Listen. I was already listening, Michael. I was already with you. But don't blow it. Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. And definitely eat biggest Big Mac, large size, biggest one. Get a small fries with it. No. Go to McDonald's, get yourself a happy meal with a side of vodka, get yourself apple pie, and you can be whatever you want to be. We get Michael Jordan because he in that movie Space Jam, we have contract for toys, so all the kids love Space Jam. So you know what we do? We push McDonald, McDonald, McDonald. We supersize your kids so they won't run away. Don't worry, mommy and daddy, just keep feeding them. They'll never make it through the front door. No harm. Just a small fries. McDonald's wants you to give yourself a chance. And so do I. 
Is it really called Ghoul? Yeah. Okay, this one's just called Ghoul. They come to my place. Ghoul. Just what the? Little. Ghoul. You'll like my friends. They're good listeners. Are they ghouls? Bill here is 16. Was. Unless he's alive in there, just sleeping. One of those little Japanese sleep hotels. So join the party. Ghoul. Try crack. Ghoul. <laughs> what was ghoul about that? You know what I- you know what I fucking love? They make it sound like drugs are so accessible and cheap to get. It's like, I can understand them talking about, don't do weird, kids. Like, you know, but like, y y you think kids are just gonna be able to find crack cocaine on the streets? Y you think 16 year old kids just got a hundred bucks lying around for a hit? Like, how rich are kids these days if they can afford crack cocaine? Richer than me, that's for sure. What kind of spoiled ass rich kids are running around the street looking for crack cocaine at 6 a.m. in the morning? What the fuck are the parents doing? Nothing about that was ghoul. Weird guy. It's called but, weird guy. But I love this, right? I love this, right? Drugs bad. Alcohol acceptable. Sugary energy drink acceptable. Eating lots of chocolate acceptable. Fast food acceptable. Alcohol, drink driving, and fast food kills more people than all the other drugs combined, but drugs are bad. Eat food instead. Eat McDonald's. Every day. Until your heart fails at the age of 13. I don't know about ghoul. I didn't see a single... Well, hold on. There's still a second left in this. Let me check for ghoul. No ghoul. No ghoul in this. This one is false advertising. I wanted to be scared by a fucking ghoul. Hey, you ever thought about taking drugs? I never really thought about it. I don't think any of you guys need any more drugs. Looks like you've done all the drugs needed. Think hard. But you find me when you need more. Come on, kids. Don't you want a bite of one of these, baby? <laughs> nah, this jerk's not worth the time. What the fuck? Can we go back for a second? What exactly is the moral here? Don't buy drugs from secret monster men? A good point advertisement, thank you. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Don't buy the drugs, but buy the Logan Paul merch. Because Logan Paul good. Once again, folks. I'm out. I'm out already on this one. I can't go farther than that. I got one eighth of a monkey turn, that's it. That's all I can handle. <laughs> Scott, I understand you just bought 15 of our surfing monkey bangs. Is that true? <laughs> what? Is this trying to- I feel like this, this makes me want to smoke marijuana. How- what's the- what did he bought 15? He bought 15? Okay, let's- let's- Wait, does it do that? Being drunk would do that. I- I was drunk once and I ordered an Uber that cost me $80 to get home. Even though a taxi would take $20. Because apparently I ended up ordering a limousine. As you do. But like... That wasn't weed, that was alcohol. Calculate that out. Let's get out the calculator really quick. $363. I mean, what's that? Three tickets to Disneyland? You get that much fun out of a, of a monkey surfboard piggy bank. God bless you. God bless you. This makes me want to take drugs. If my dad was like that and he told me not to take drugs, I would take drugs, I not to end up like him. I didn't call myself a farter. Well, that's probably a good thing. I don't know if you want to go around doing that, calling yourself that. In my head, I was a social farter. <laughs> I only farted occasionally. I'm getting, I'm getting uncomfortable. What does this have to do with drugs? And my boyfriend called me out on it. And good on him. <laughs> He's taking it right where it matters. I even woke up in the morning craving a fart. Nice one, guys. Sick allegory. Oh, right. You slipped it right in. I can't believe how smart you were for writing that. Just changed farting to smoking, and it's done. Tobacco companies lost all their shares. You did it! You've done it! <laughs> what the fuck? Sick, dude. Getting fat rips. <laughs> She's like, not again. He's smoking. Not again, an alien's coming while my boyfriend's smoking weed. Not again! Aliens coming up to me again, got a weird potato face. Always happens. Just trying to have a good day. 
Whoa, shit, dude. That alien just stole that dude's chick. That is one pimpin' alien. Not again. And she's gone. Don't let aliens steal your girlfriend from smoking weed, kids. <laughs> wow, real great, man. Real sick. Nice weed. Wow. What are you doing? Smoking this grass. Smoking this harsh grass. What is your disgrace? I just got here. I don't even know anything. What, is, what even is weed? Come on. Get with me, girl. This guy's a loser. <laughs> see, see ya, dude. You suck. See ya. You seriously suck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Lou Albano. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Anyone that asks you to use drugs is not your friend. Drugs can and will kill. But Mario, you's always eating the mushrooms. Get it? Remember, don't be afraid to turn to your priest, your rabbi, your minister, your moms, your dads, your teachers, because drugs. It doesn't can help kill. when the priests are fucking you rapists. You go to hell before you die. Mario, you're scarring the kids for life here. You just tell me I'm gonna go to actual hell before I die? I just wanna jump on the Goombas, Mario. I just wanna ride the Yoshi. I guess he was really affected by Luigi's fatal drug addiction. Mario, it's me, Luigi. Oh, wow, fuck. I just, just can't stop eating the mushrooms. Um, it's such a funny show. I'm such a great, funny, funny fucking guy. <laughs> wow. Go to hell. Pablo, the, is this the real name? Pablo the Mule Dog. Wow, oh God. Show me. Pablo. What? Turns out I've been used to smuggle <gasps> cocaine into the country. Don't make a drug PSA about this. this. This doesn't make me want to not do drugs. This makes me sad for Pablo, who a bunch of Mexicans shoved cocaine into. That's what's making me want. Which does rather prompt the question, what's the big deal? You should be dead, ghoul dog. Stay dead! I went to this nasty toilet and this girl asked me... Did you spare us a tenner? Uh, no, I'm, I'm a dog. <gasps> and look who we have here, a bleeding nostril. Perfect. I'm bleeding! Well done, yes you are. <laughs> so I picked up the phone, somehow, and talked to Frank. There's a darker side to coke. To find out more, visit talktofrank.com. Hi, I'm John, and after watching Pablo the Mule Dog be stuffed with handfuls and handfuls of cocking, I've come here, me and McDonald's have come here to tell you what we know to truly be important. The family, the Big Mac, the Mac Nuggets. Come on down, grab just a four-pack, four-piece Mac Nuggets from, from God's green soil itself, grown from our, straight from McDonald Farms, one ninety-nine only, two-piece chicken Mac Nuggets, one for to get for free. Listen, if you're doing drugs, stop it. Or else Mr. T's gonna come shake all that loose change right out of your pockets. How are you gonna get a six-piece chicken McNuggets then? Reopen that 9-11 investigation. What really happened there? You just gotta know the facts. Just re just reopen it. Take a look. Never know what's gonna be inside. That's me, John. See you later. The time is now for strong leadership. Reagan for president. Um... Please tell me they're not smuggling drugs in dogs. Smuggling drugs in people I'm okay with, but dogs, no. That's the line. That's the line. Oh, and you guys keep, you guys keep giving me more. God, I said I was going to finish 30 minutes ago. Alright, let's see if they're short and sweet. What's this? Okay, Noam, can I eat this lemon tree leaf? What about this daisy? Okay, but I could eat it. Okay, Noam, add milk to my shopping list. <laughs> I keep doing that, sorry. <laughs> okay, Noam, uh, is this compost? <laughs> so, just regular trash then? 